Good morning everyone, it's Nick here from Turnip Starfish. And I'm going to do uh, another drawing today for my Draw More of 2019. Just going to make a new layer to draw on. Today I think I'm going to try and draw a Viking. So like a cartoon Viking, we'll see how it works. So I'm going to... It's kind of... I'm going to use some stylized shapes, so he's, I'm going to use a big a kind of square, triangular square for all my body, because he's strong, so he's broad in the shoulders. I'm going to I'm going to have like this narrow head, I don't know, something like that, I was just making sure it's in the middle there, something like this. I think he's going to have a helmet. He's got to have his traditional Viking helmet. He's going to have a metal band up there, I think. Do you want to give him little horns or big horns? We'll figure it out. Well, this that's working. Just going to keep that height across the other side, get a nice curve. Well, that's not very equal, is it? Let me get my razor a sec. Um, I could trick, I suppose, and I could use my lasso tool, and I could copy and paste, grab it, and I could edit, transform, flip horizontal, and I could put it there. That would work. And I've got two layers now, so let me just set those two layers. If I right-click, I can merge merge those layers, so back to one layer. There you go. There's a new little trick for today. Um, he's going to have he's going to have this big axe thing, which is going to go down here somewhere. Um, he's going to have small cartoony legs to me. Trying to open the stance a bit so it's not too symmetrical. So just this leg is curved this way and it's a little bit straighter. He's going to have these big, big thumb, big rectangle sausage fingers. There's a super size hand. I might have to tilt that hand slightly. Again, I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm going to edit. Transform, rotate. I'm just going to move it up. When I'm happy with it, press o Enter for OK and select, deselect. OK, with my brush. I've got this idea for this. Anything. Make sure something like this goes all the way down. To make sure the top connects here. Sometimes people don't do that. I'm going to have the pole shaft. I'm going to come wider at the bottom. And maybe there's a like a metal base to this. And then uh, we're going to have this. of some kind. Something like this. Let's have his hand like like that. So he's like proud. Does that work? That works. Something like that. It's quite cartoony for today. That's cool though. Something different this week. Uh, let's get my razor and clean out some of these lines a sec. Can I sort these fingers out a little bit better? Because we're going to have one in here, one here, one there. One's going to be hidden behind, so that's fine. Right, let's clean this up a bit. It's still quite rough at this stage, which I want. Um, I need a 
a Viking. Should he have a cloak? Maybe he should have a cloak kind of flowing out here. So would he have... It's going to kind of come over his shoulder. Then over this arm, but maybe here it will... It will sweep out and it's got some holes in it. Something like that. Cool. He's going to have some strapping over his arm. Maybe the same on this side. Um, mm, right, what am I going to do up here? Should I have a... Now I've got to decide whether I go for a, a belt up here, like cartoony, or lower down. Do I make him strong with big pectoral muscles? If he had big pectoral muscles, there would be something like here. I'm not going to have him bare-chested, I don't think. So let's put... We'll put his belt lower today then, so he's just got a little waist. Give it a little bit of curved to this. Looks more like a barbarian at the moment, doesn't he? Right, and we'll get some rag and a bit of the t shirt so that t shirt, his top billowing in. And we need some decoration here, so we're gonna. His top's gonna kind of be something like this, ripped down. And. Uh, We'll see, maybe we'll create a kind of brown tartan on there or something like that. Tartan? I'm not sure why that's very Viking. Anyway, we'll see what we come up with. Something like this. What are you going to do with the shoes? Now, I suppose there'd be material, so we're just going to draw. And then maybe some strapping on the lower leg. He's trying to keep those curved so they're going around three dimensional leg. Okay. In the end, these thumbs are going to, fingers are going to overlap slightly, a bit more. Excuse me. Sniffing is not very pleasant for you. I'm sure. It's getting over a cold. Yeah, gonna need some thickness here to the actual axe. Thickness over the wood. It's important if you're trying to take your drawing a little bit further, you allow for thicknesses of objects. So sometimes talk about that in class. The same there. So this this wooden pole is sitting inside this I don't know whatever that is piece of metal. Okay, cool. Let's get a thumb on there. Room for a thumb. Probably got room for fingers in there. Oh, that'll be my phone. Hang on a sec. I am back. So let's just tidy up up here. Get this brush. I'm going to zoom in a bit to that head in a minute. Um, now I'm I get used to cleaning up my actual line drawing. Um, some people now will create a new layer and work over this. I quite like the sketchiness of my drawings. Maybe I'm lazy in my drawing, I don't know, but I suppose it's something I like. So I'm gonna stick to it. And I might colour the lines today anyway. So we'll see. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna create a new layer and kind of brush it really line it in really tightly. I'm just gonna keep it as a sketch with colour on it. Um, just gonna make the eraser a little bit smaller. Get back to my brush. Right. 
Right, what am I going to do here? He's going to have... What is he going to have? He's going to have big, bushy eyebrows, I guess. Create some expression, so I've raised one. He's gonna have a what's he gonna have moustache wise? He's gonna have maybe a big two big moustache plats. They're always good, aren't they? Moustache plats. Get like a razor again, just clean up some of those lines behind. Kind of draw a line for underneath the lip, so it's like the bottom of the mouth in there. His mouth's in there. I would normally do a beard now. Um, am I doing a small beard like that? Normally I'd do a big beard. Maybe I could do a. I'd do like he's got a big. long beard today. See how that looks. Just going to zoom out to get an idea. That kind of works. Yeah, that's working. In fact, that almost works as a sketch. It's kind of fun. So, oops. My brush. He's going to need ears. Let's pull them out either side. Just kind of making nice silhouetting. Thin little ears on either side. I haven't really given him any hair, so I'll just give him some hair sticking out the side. Thing like this. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's cool. Right, let's just clean up a couple of last lines, and then we will go in and have some fun with colour. I think and bits and bobs. He's gonna. He's gonna need some of his top in here. I suppose I now need to make this a nice sketch, don't I? I suppose. <clears throat> cool. Um, I'm going to work with that rough line to start with. Let me just name that layer line. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start grabbing some colours. This person's been working. He's been on the sea all his life, so he's caught the sun a bit here. Let's just get a bigger brush. Let's actually grab a brush. That'd be good, wouldn't it? in really quickly. So I'm going to come back and, and work all this up. There we are. And this hand. See a little bit of his chest down here. Awesome. Right. Taking a little bit of a light of to create 
create some form. Lightning on top of these fingers. A bit on the hand there. A bit on this muscle. In the arm. And a little bit across the flat of the hand down the fingers. Awesome. I might just blend this slightly. So I'm going to colour pick in here and grab my brush and just blend that slightly. Okay, colour pick in here and blend. Okay, a little bit of a hard edge on that. Harder than I wanted, so just blend slightly. Okay. Right, I just gotta think about what colours I'm gonna use. Yeah. Uh, I don't want them all to be brown, so I might I might go for some greens. Greens and Reds, would you look a bit Christmassy? Let's put this colour up here actually and see if I can pick that darker valley as well. Let's um, grab. Let's just see. Oops. Thinking about the top and the the bell and the um and the trousers. I certainly like it when it goes towards this this uh, sandier green. It's not quite sandy green, but no, quite like where some of this is going. These colours. Not we're gonna need a something up in there. Let me grab this and get some more red into this. Let's let's try this green and we'll see. It might be too bright. Let's get a slightly bigger brush. A bit silly. Colour in a small area with a sorry, a big area. With a small brush. So we go over that hair at the moment, doesn't matter too much. Hey, he's starting to lit the pie, isn't he? Get this sleeve in. Right, gonna pick one of these sandier colours for my trousers. Slightly smaller brush. I might use the same. Color on the feet at the moment. If I need to change that, I will. I don't, just don't. The idea being, I don't want too many colors, so it's kind of there's a bit more design about it. Right, let's pick this darker, darker red or brown for the belt today. I might use that on this on his cloak actually.
we select the top of the cloak. We can use a light color on the inside. We'll try this one. It's like the inside of our leather, uh, our fur cloak. Um, I want to pick something lighter again. I've got my brush for these straps. Let's do some neatening up in here so they don't stand out. They're in the same area of colour but they're slightly lighter. Half of me is thinking that. That's quite a nice area to go for the hair, so I'm not changing colour too much. So I'm going to come in here. It's a bit close to this one. That's okay though. I might lighten that up a bit. So just blasting in all my flat colours. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly. Not that interesting for you to watch, I don't suppose. But keeping my colour palette all together up there. Okay, let's grab my colour selection tool. So I'm generally trying to colour select off here. I'm gonna. I want to do these horns, but I'm gonna do a little bit of blending on it. I think so. It's. I'm trying to pick a darker colour. I'm going to pick that lighter value because I've got my pressure sensitivity. I can pick that lighter value again and I can probably blend that out again. Okay, something like that. I'm going to colour this. Tick, tick. There it is. Right, metals. Let's come down here. Let's come back in the grey slightly. This. Go in here. Come right up in there for a highlight. I'll try some of those. I'll come darker on this side today. Dark underneath here and darker inside. Dark underneath there. I'm going to pick this second value. Keeping this mark making going down the blade, keeping the rhythm. So I'm not trying to make sure I don't change the direction of my mark making. Decide if that's how I want that. We'll figure it out over time. Back to this darker value. These lines again come down the wood. Oh, 
was the Um, let's pick one of these lighter values and actually before I do that let's just darken that off a bit a bit more I'm gonna pick one of these I'm gonna get a smaller brush put some strands of fiber of the wood I quite like it when I do that I'm gonna grab the brown I'm actually gonna grab a darker brown and then the same kind of just strengthen these lines so I got some other lines in there as well yeah cool um, I need to do his helmet don't I so uh, let's grab the darker one grab a brush I'm gonna do the underneath rim and maybe take my mark making this way, it's going to be dark on this side, and maybe a bit dark on here, get my mid value that I created. Grab my lightest value. going to pick white. There he is. Need some light in the eye. Well, I'm certainly going to need to define those eyes a bit. Let's pick that. Um, those eyes stand out a bit. He's just a cartoon. He's only got little dot eyes today. Just darkening some of these lines a bit. They're going to stand out. I'm going to go back. I'm going to. The smaller rubber. And thin out some of this, I think. I'm going to save that. See if there's any other lines I really don't like. Oh, what am I doing now? Do I flatten everything? When did I flatten it? That's good, wasn't it? I need to go back to that. So that was bad. I've clicked something. So let's just go back in. I was working on the eyes. It was two weeks running. I've clicked something by accident. That's fine. Eraser. But you can see I could use my history tool and quite quickly go back. I thinned that out. Take this out. Take out some of the lines I really don't want that are making it messy. Some of it I like is a sketch. It's going to clean up some of these fingers a bit. Uh, get some of this. It looks a bit like arm hair though, so that's okay. Thin out some of this. Don't want those in there. A little bit untidy there. Yeah. I might thin out some of that so it looks sharper, lighter, like it's more light catching it on this edge. So if I thin that light line down, that will help it, I think. But I'll keep it darker on the other side. Okay, zoom out a bit. Yeah, cool. So I'm like, no, it looks good. I, I would like to create a little cartoon shadow, and you need something else on this T-shirt, I think. So let's um, we'll color pick in here. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I don't know if I need another color. Maybe go go in here. We'll try this. I'm going to put a brush in here. But I'm going to create a new layer. I don't know if this is going to work, so we're going to... Try 
try and keep these same thickness to start with, obviously. A little bit of shape on the bottom as it gets tucked into his trousers. Now you got to think about what am I doing? Am I doing stripes? Mm. Am I actually going to stripe it? Maybe. Hate that, adds a bit of detail to it. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is today I'm going to create a little shadow layer on top. It was only a little cartoon. Pick a shadowy colour. So I still want some colour in it. Because I got a lot of yellows in here, I'm going towards a blue shadow. Still want it fairly dark as a value, but I'm not going to black. I'm gonna try this. And uh we'll see if this works. And uh don't want to overdo it, but I do want I'm just gonna drop it behind my line. I want to drop car shadow under my uh, under all these objects. So the shadows. Uh, my light source was hitting in here, so they're, they're sitting on the, as I'm looking at it, looking on the the shadows are sitting on the right hand side. Still being fairly relaxed with it. Okay, that means there might be a little bit of shadowing around this muscle and a little bit underneath and a little bit under here under this hand under the down here and separating these fingers yeah each one will drop a car shadow on the other one we'll put a little bit of form on here a little drop shadow in here we'll darken this in this Dark in this side, put a little bit of texture. Some shadows there. Okay, um, this is going to be in a shadow. And we're going to get a little bit of shadow on this side. So just drop around these. I've got any colours down in here. A little bit of shadow on the hand here. And on the fingers. I'm just going to go back there because that came down very dark suddenly. Going back through my history. So the pressure, did you see the pressure was really heavy there? I might just use with some pattern mark making to create more shadow or new, more texture and grime and dirt on that we'll see how that works in a minute um, we're going to create well you need some drop shadow on this side let me just erase that because this is on a separate level it's really easy just me to tweak this because remember it's all on a separate layer yeah easy peasy I'm going to create a little bit of shadow on this side, a little bit of drop shadow here and here, a little bit of shadow under the belt, a little bit on this side of the leg, a little bit of form shadow, not wearing too much, I'm kind of 
it's a cartoon, so I'm keeping it relaxed. Right, I just wanted to create a little bit of texture shadow on this, coming around this side, and maybe a bit. It's just darkening off back down here. So it's not so flat. And create a little bit of shadow down in here. Right, let's just go into the. We can have a little bit of shadow here, actually. Down the shirt. We're going a bit closer for the head. A little bit of shadow here. Darken the elements I want to. A little bit of car shadow. A little bit around the nose and this side. So, on the. Got a little bit of shadow on this beard. You're going to have a car shadow there, and then it's going to catch the light. We've got a little bit. Of, I don't want to make the beard too dark or anything. I'm just going to thin that line out because that wants to thin as it comes down. A little bit on this side. A little bit on this side of the head. This side of the nostril. There he is. Right, and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to grab that layer and take the opacity down on it. So it's more subtle. There he is. Cool. Just going to save that. I think one more thing for today. I like that, he's kind of cool. I'm going to colour the line, so I'm going to go to the line and I'm just going to select this one, which locks all the white pixels. Um, first thing, I, I coloured it brown. I'm going to I'm going to get a much darker brown. Get a brush. Get a bigger brush. I can take these off a sec. And when I colour this, it will actually just colour my outlines. Bit hard to see at the moment probably. You can see it's softening that slightly. So I'm going to colour I soften those browns down in here. Okay. So I feel I want that a little bit darker after I've done that. Almost too soft now. Oh no, no. Let's try it. Let's keep it soft. On the green, I'm going to go for a, a darker green. It's going to soften these lines off a bit. Soften these lines. I like the lines. I'm just softening them off. Um. Let's go back to that brown. I think we'll just use a lot of that brown all through here. Cool. Skin colour. Let's try this. This one a bit darker a sec. Softening all those lines out. I feel like I need to get that detail back in a bit, so I'm really going back into that, darkening that out a bit. I'm almost going back to black if I want to darken it. It's interesting. Here and then I'll keep that. Just take the edge off these bands because they're coming out like quite strong. Those some of those bands, right? Softening there is softening those lines and softening those lines. Using one color at the moment, but it's okay. Kind of experimenting a bit. 
that soften the hair for sure. I'm going to keep the eyes dark. I think, see if you look at them. I'm going to lighten that. I'm going to keep some black on the back of that so it stays sharp. Cool. Right, I think that's it today. There he is. He is our little Viking. Nice quick tutorial. That was kind of fun. He is a little bit you know, it's sketchy. It's supposed to be. It's just a little cartoon. Great. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. This is Nick from turnipstarfish.co.uk. If you want to come to any of our workshops, and you can draw with us characters like this or learn how to digital paint, we'll see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.